Alabama has won the toss as you look at Gene Stallings, seven years at Alabama, one national title, one SEC championship, and six bowl appearances. His team won the toss, and they have deferred. And for Coach Carr and the Michigan Wolverines, second season for him at Ann Arbor, 17 and 7 his numbers. And his football team, when they took the field just a few moments ago, Mike Gottfried and I looked at each other and said, hey, they seem extremely ready to play. As you look at Butterfield and Shaw, this one is underway. From the two-yard line, it's Butterfield. 10, 15, breaks it across the 25. Still on his feet, and he's got one man to beat. Gets by the kicker and is tripped up, actually, by the kicker, William Watts. And there was a flag down back at the 33. Pressure up the middle, gets it away. Short kick, Goss runs away from it, very short, and now takes a huge Alabama bounce back inside the 30-yard line, and Mike, he's going to wind up with a negative yardage on the puck. Good pass, kick is on the way, plenty of distance, and he got it. A little quicker defense, uh, a lot like Ohio State's defense, Michigan's coaches feel. From the shotgun, right over the middle, throws it complete. He's got Williams, open field, 25, and run out of bounds at the 27, and that's Kevin Jackson who pushed him out. Russell and Streets come out wide to the right side. Gracie sets to throw, looking, gets it out here to Shaw, and he crosses the 30 and is going to have the Michigan first down. Well, two wide receivers to the top of your screen. You can see Shaw in motion, little counter tray, and it's going to go for four yards as Rudd will step up and hit Howard and knock him down at the 43. Two of the tight end flips from the right over to the left. Line to make the 46. Greasy gets his pass away, and nice catch at the 45. It's not going to be enough for the first down. Fernando Bryant was right there to make the hit on streets as soon as he caught the football. I'm surprised he held on. Deshea Townsend, number two, back in a single safety, and you're exactly right. They got the return on. Fair catch is called for and made by Townsend at the 19. What an effort. He was going to come and make the tackle headgear or no. And a heart of the years. Kitchens right over the middle has it complete. Crosses the 30 yard line, still loses Vaughn, and they'll knock him out of bounds at the 34 yard line. Got a little more velocity on the football. You see number 96, that's William Carr. Running play to go straight at him, and here's Riddle. Breaks it open at midfield, then down to the Michigan 45 yard line. Boy, the night we had uh, Alabama against LSU, he simply was a weapon that helped them win the football game. Without a doubt, he won the field position battle that night. Kicks it for the far sideline away from Woodson. And miss it. Goes into the end zone. So it's a 39-yard kick. Again, Michigan spreads him out. Quick pass right over the middle, and they've got it to Charles Woodson. And Woodson will take it to the 32, the 33. Cedric Samuel makes the stop on him. And wow, when he touches the football, you know something can happen quick. So the penalty stepped off, and it's all the way back to the 24. Second down. That's about 23, 24 yards. Greasy again. Quick pass over the middle. Got to complete to Clarence Williams. He's free. And look who comes from out of nowhere. That's a linebacker, Ralph Staten, and he'll catch him from behind. Clarence Williams trying to, I don't know, Ron, he didn't give him a line, a chance to come back and catch that football. Brian Greasy is the pooch punter, and here's his kick. Very high, not real long, but that's the purpose. And a fair catch signal for by Townsend, and made just inside the 15. Now, Ron, Michigan's defense wants to keep Alabama down here. Not allow them out of this hole. Get their offense good field position. Alexander Curtis gets to the outside. 20, 25, and out to the 30-yard line. You just joined us. Three to nothing. Crimson Tide lead. Second quarter. Great kick. Good coverage kick. Woodson all the way back to the 13-yard line. Got a great block. Tries to take it into the boundary, and he's down at the 30. Straight ahead. Nice run. Floyd puts a head down. Going to wind up with 11 yards in the play. Myers makes the tackle. Handoff out of the 
shotgun is Williams. Great second effort across the 50. He's going to have the first down. They had him at the 50-yard line short of the first down, and the second effort took him away from Rudd. Marcus Knight has checked into the lineup as you look at Mike DeBose. Marcus is a freshman. Greasy. Got a man open, delivers it, and has the strike at the 32-yard line. And again, you see Michigan moving people around. Shaw to the top of your screen, goes straight ahead with the handoff to Floyd, and he's loose. Down to the 20-yard line, and he got a spotting down at the 19. Cedric Samuel took his feet out from under him. Don't make a mistake, or you still want a chance to kick the field goal if you don't make the first down. Jay is in a tight end. Here comes the blitz. He's hit from behind by Ralph Staten. He never had an opportunity because he never saw him. Almost the identical spot where Brock kicked his for Alabama. Plenty of distance, and he is good. We're tied. 8-0-3 until halftime. It is Alabama 3 and now Michigan 3. Second down at about 9. That's Vaughn in motion. Play action. Kitchen sings it over the middle, has Vaughn. That's good for the first down out at the 35-yard line. Reverse it. Got a man wide open. That's his tight end, Rutledge. And he'll be knocked out of bounds by Taylor. And following a 13, maybe a 14-yard game. He told us yesterday, I want to prove my point. I want to earn my respect on that field on Wednesday. Kitchens is sacked and it's Glenn Steele. You gotta make him move around a little bit. You gotta put a little heat on him, and they did that the last series. Speaking of heat, this guy here can do it to you. It is incumbent upon Hayden Stockton to get a good one away. Not particularly high, it's returnable. And Woodson breaks it open. He's got one man to beat. And Stockton will push him out of bounds just across midfield. over in. Goss runs away from it. Now this takes a Michigan bounce and it's going to go dead around the 10-yard line. Second down and long as Kitchens play action. Gets his pass away and this one is intercepted. That's Charles Woodson as he just threw it up for grabs. John Copeland, the uh, lineman, had left Hines and gone on to Alabama and had success, so he wanted to do the same thing. Gracie set to throw. Middle screen is there. Clarence Williams gets a block, and he's going to be tackled short of the first down by about a yard. It's Sigler who's holding on for dear life. And it's a fake right up into the middle, and they break it. That's Greasy at the 10, first and goal, Michigan. seconds left until the halftime and our new score the Wolverines six to three as Kazi comes out over the football but they, they don't look like they're going to go down on a knee looks like they may go for one more Mike. Yes, they are. Kitchens goes down and it's Bowens who gets him and that is the end of the first half our score Michigan six Alabama three now let's join Chris Fowler for the new Dodge Halftime Report. Gene Stallings paces the sideline. His final half as the head coach at the University of Alabama. Kitchens dumps it out, has it complete to his tight end, and Hayden will take it out to the 35, and that's good for the Crimson Tide first down. And so Hayden Stockton standing back. And of course, Woodson is the guy's kicking good. He just rides this one out of the park. Woodson all the way back to the one-yard line. Looking for a spot to run, and he'll be stopped at the 16. Greasy, counter play. Got an opening. Has five, has ten. Almost breaking the three is Chris Howard all the way out to the 35-yard line. Greasy, short drive. Getting pressured by Hood, gets it away, and it's caught. That's Knight. And Knight knocked out of bounds. What a grab. Cedric Samuel makes the tackle on him. 
Howard in motion, empty backfield, pressure is on, and they throw the screen, and that's a lateral, lateral, and he throws back to Greasy, and he falls down. Good heavens at the 37-yard line, and folks, there was a wall that you could have used in Berlin out there. So it's third down. Third down and about four. You see Alabama tight at the line of scrimmage. Here they come with another blitz. Great protection, and now it breaks down, and it's Paul Pickett who will get him a second time officially. Again, Alabama comes up with a big defensive stop when they need it. for the fair catch at the one yard line. What in the world is he thinking? Look for Michigan to return this football. Ball is not going to turn over, but he kicks it away from Woodson, and that probably is as good as you can do. It goes out of bounds, and let's check in with Kellen Winslow. Kellen? From California to Florida to New York, and, and we've been really, really fast with this kind of a day, and the game's terrific, and we're just looking forward to more and more of this kind of success as years move forward with this bowl game. You know, Ty Streets has only caught one ball today. He may try to find him. There's the pressure, and he knocks the ball loose, and Greasy does the only thing he can do, and that is fall on it to keep Alabama from capturing it. Signals for the fair catch, and makes it at the nine. Captain Terry Dillard piloting that one today, and he's got some great looks. New quarterback in the ball game for the Alabama Crimson Tide as Riddle takes the ball and comes out close to a 10-yard game. It's a little in motion, top of the screen, and it's quarterback draw. And boy, Mr. Godfrey, you are exactly right. They, they've had a quarterback who was doing the two-step, and now they've got somebody who's doing a jitterbug, so they're going to have to change some things defensively. Warren Faust, sophomore out of Midwest City, Oklahoma. And of course, that is a suburb of Oklahoma City. Keeps this one, and he'll pick up the first down. He lost the ball, made it exciting at the last minute, made his own recovery at the 34. Just under four minutes to play, third quarter. Faust rolls the ball out, turns the corner, has five. As 10 yards, and who does he get belted out of bounds? Charles Woodson. Michigan gathers up tight. They're looking for the run, and it got it. This is Riddle. Tries to bounce it outside, and a nice tackle by Woodson. If he doesn't get him, there's big yardage. Well, that's not a good sign when your head's down. Here's the option to pitch Riddle. Has five, has ten. He's loose down to the 30-yard line. It is first and 10, Alabama. Riddle, 61 yards now on 11 attempts. They go back to the open side. There's the pitch. Riddle, nice job defensively. That is David Bowens, who stayed home on the wide side of the field. It is second down and 15. They need to take it to the 20. It's Vaughn in motion. They pitch it back to him. Now here comes the reverse. Marcel West. West back into the middle, loses the football, and Michigan has recovered at the 30. Get their defense over the sideline and make some adjustments right now, talking to them. Gracie gets to Clarence Williams, breaks out of the pile, and he's loose. 50, 45, at the 40, and going to be tackled from behind by Fagan. Michigan leads it 6-3. Here they come. Shaw in motion, there's the pressure, look in, and here's a flag. Straight ahead, quarterback sneak, and he has it. And Kellen Winslow, let's check with you. He's definitely been a great success and great uh, asset to Alabama, and, and I uh, have all congratulations to him. And, and the career he's had here. And uh, like I said, you know, you see most of the guys here, and everybody's seen to, you know, enjoy being around him and just love the type of atmosphere. So it's definitely uh, a great thing for him. Makes Can't no score difference. no points, right. right. So Thanks a lot, Eric. We appreciate it. Right. Good luck to you in the NFL. Happy, and tell everybody Happy New Year, too. I sure will. All right. Michael Myers Hi, comes across and makes contact. Back to the snap. Contact by the defense. Offside. Five-yard penalty. First down. Third down. They need to take it to the five-yard line to pick up the first. That's Campbell in motion. Racing. Hit. And the ball is intercepted by Rod. And Rod may score. There are no flags on the field. We'll count it off. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown.
down Dwayne Rock. Good point. Here comes the safety blitz this time. Pass in the flat. They've got to complete to Shaw. And he will be pushed out of bounds just short of the 30-yard line. That's the Shea Townsend who pushed him out. Second and short, and Greasy will take it straight ahead. Now, when you, you look at Alabama's defense under Stallings in the 90s, not even anything as far down as third place. You can see the movement on both sides. A lot of shifting going on by Michigan. Back to the snap. Defense in the zone. Offside. Offense move. Five yard penalty. Third down and short. And again, the quarterback sneak. And they will pick up the first down. Number one, Florida State against number three, Florida. Gracie has it complete. And it's going to be pushed back. And they were down and had to come from behind in that game. Lawrence Williams bounces it outside. You can see the pursuit by Bacon. And he just stiff arms him down and has the first down. Greasy to Holder. Now they had a fake earlier, but I don't think the situation would avail itself here that they would call that. Down. Don't know if he's got the distance. Nuke. Short and to the right. I kick it away from Woodson. Oh, I would too. Averaging almost 25 yards of return. This is returnable. Woodson for the 27. Finally winds up at about four yards on the return. It is a 46-yard punt. Holding called against Michigan. You're, ho you're hoping to pick one up. Gracie sets in the pocket, great protection, got a man open, juggles the ball, and it came down with it. Shaw had it, lost it, and had it again. You see the safety creeping up into your picture? They pick him up, it's right over the middle, and he's got Shaw. And if he breaks away, he's going to score, and it's Bryant holding on for dear life. 50% of the time, he's nailed it inside the 20 this year. Now this is outside of the foot. Not going to be proud of this one. It does take a bit of a Michigan bounce and will go out of bounds at around the 24. We've got a big game today, Kansas State. Alexander turns the corner. Hang on, and he ran into his own man. I know how badly he wants to win this final game today. Unbelievably large, that desire. Draw play, Sean Alexander. 5, 10, 15, he's off. A tackle just across midfield. Vaughn in motion, top of your screen. And a draw play, Sean Alexander. Got more speed than you think, and Michigan just found out he will score. Forty-six yards. And there finally is the smile. The Gene is going to win his 70th. There's John Mark and the family upstairs. Yeah, Alabama did tonight, or today, what they've done all year. Played to their defense. Defense responded, then they won it with the running game. Pass caught on the near sideline, and again, it's Woodson. Fernando Bryant will push him out of bounds, and that'll move the chains for Michigan. You're always trying to make plays, though. And the end result is Michigan didn't do a very good job of handling the blitz on third down by Alabama. Gracie goes out of bounds at around the 43. Sounds like an oversimplification, but you have to know how to win, and that's one of the things that they have done at Tuscaloosa for a long time. Deep over the middle, Clarence Williams wide open. It'll be first and goal, Michigan at the nine-yard line. Clock whistled back in, 127, now 126. 41 yards in the pass play. Greasy gets it out in the flat. That's Shaw at the five. He will score. Two-point conversion coming here, and here comes the blitz, and Greasy's pass incomplete. And now here comes a late flag. Michael Fagan. And 
here comes the run and play, and Floyd will take it in. 17 to 14. Goss got it at the 42-yard line. Remember, he was the, he had the problem on the uh, catch and the punt that he at the one yard line. the ball on the one yard line, <laughs> so he made up for it. Dean's going to hug him now. John Mark uh, waving. This win will be huge to him. Down on one knee, and uh, that should be the final play of the 1997 Outback Bowl here in Tampa. 16 down to 15. Gene got a partial bath. <laughs> and they're going to give him a walk off. So that's the end of the ball game. Gene Stallings wins his 70th game as the head coach at the University of Alabama. Final score 17 to 14. Uh, it's a great way to go out as a coach. A lot of coaches don't get to pick the way they want to go out. Gene Stallings did.